how would I spend 200 pounds as a fragrance newbie on colognes? Three, two, one, let's do this. Hi, my name is Monica Chioch and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in that topic, press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos and let's get on with today's video. I saw some uh, reviewers making a video like this and I thought it was such a great idea because there wasn't a video like this when I started my collection and I think it could help one of you guys who are just starting your cologne collection and you're wondering how much do I spend? Where do I spend the money? What fragrances do I need to get the most out of the coin that I have at the moment? So I started with a budget of about 200 pounds and I just looked at the retail prices online. So I screenshotted them and this will be more or less 200 pounds and you will be able to get some of these fragrances. In my opinion, the first fragrance that everybody has to own is an easy, everyday, no-brainer fragrance that you can just wear every single day that is crowd-pleasing. You can wear it to work, you can wear it on days off, you can wear it to different situations, you can wear it in the winter, you can wear it in the summer. Just one that will do all of the jobs that I just mentioned. You need that one staple to just carry you through the whole year and to give you a great basis, like set up those foundations for your fragrance collection. So in my opinion, some of those fragrances that you could get are Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. This is such a crowd-pleasing fragrance. It's great smelling. It has got great projection, great longevity. It's a designer fragrance, so you can grab it anywhere pretty much. It has got the most wonderful um, top note of bergamot in this. It's so juicy and wonderful. It's a crowd pleaser. You can wear it to work. You can wear it on days off. Just like I mentioned, it's an easy, no brainer fragrance that literally suits anybody, any age pretty much from like teenager till, I don't know, like 60, 70, whatever. Anybody can wear it. And I have actually heard loads of women um, mention that they love this fragrance. So, you know, it's very pleasing to the general public and girls too so you'll get compliments so that would be my option another option that you could get is bleu de chanel eau de toilette or eau de parfum and this just depends if you wanted to keep the budget a bit lower you could get the eau de toilette it's a great smelling fragrance i do prefer the eau de parfum slightly but it's just they're all very very similar they just have a bit of difference here and there so you know you might even love the eau de, eau de toilette better but this again is a fragrance that is very easy to wear to an office, to school, to work, like just everywhere. You can even wear this on like a daytime date, even a nighttime date really, because this is just such a wonderful fragrance. The opening of this, the citrusy opening is so attractive smelling. It's the best opening. Wow, the citrus in this, the patchouli, it's elegant and classy again or age appropriate really um, and it's an easy just no-brainer grab and go and the third fragrance that I would like to mention is the Mont Blanc Explorer this is a dupe kind of of Creed Aventus which is a very popular fragrance but too expensive on a 200 pound budget so this is again a fragrance that will get you so many compliments this is a crowd pleaser everyday sort of wear the problem with this one is it's not as long lasting as these two but it is cheaper so you know you have to kind of see here what you prefer if you prefer the smell of this one just get yourself a bigger bottle of this one i think the smallest uh, bottle retails for about 33 pounds so this is quite affordable and just keep it in your bag and respray it respray it this has got some bergamot at the top and like a fruity sort of vibe too. It's a lighter scent, I would say, than the, these two. 
but they're all great great fragrances to start the groundwork of your collection these two uh, the smaller bottles they retail uh, for about 57 pounds and but you know sometimes online you can get these much cheaper and you can get them probably with like 10 percent discount so you can have a look at that so that would be my first fragrance just to start off your collection pick one of these three and now some time if you would like to support me even more than watching this channel liking and subscribing i do have a little link down below and any money i make from that link will goes towards new equipment subscriptions for like adobe services i have to edit these videos somehow subscriptions for music it won't go just anywhere it will go towards making this channel better and better and better and better thank you you even if you don't want to support me in that way I do appreciate your support by clicking on this video and liking this video too next fragrance I would go for is a fresh fragrance that you could easily wear in the summer springtime but it's also a very very good scent in terms of uh, attraction because actually it has been actually proven in studies that women find a fresh scent very very sexy so this is a fresh scent that you could wear also kind of every day also in the spring summer so that would be a different sort of scent that is okay the other two the other three are also fresh but they are not as fresh as these ones these ones are like shower sort of freshness if you know what i mean so the first one i would propose to you is the aqua di Gio profumo and my gosh is this good like this is just wow every time i smell it i'm i'm just enchanted this is a fresh shower aquatic fragrance that has got a patchouli base which means it kind of smells like wet ground that sort of vibe and if you're thinking wow that really smells like that that can't smell good somehow it does <laughs> it totally does it is a wonderful aquatic scent that is hypnotic i love this this gets attention from me like whenever i smell it this is just so good such a staple and again designer lasts a long time just wonderful wonderful scent i really really recommend this scent to you guys this reminds me like of a guy just on a beach somewhere like just running or something it's just very very fresh and mm, very good next up is first instinct by abercrombie and fitch and this scent it kind of smells like cocktails like tonic cocktail it's a fruity masculine fresh scent that is so affordable but yet so good it's very cross pleasing again it will be perfect in spring and summer it's like citrusy fresh easy throw on go it'll smell good literally it's like a tonic water cocktail a sort of vibe you're laying on a beach it's wonderfully uh, refreshing, women love it, very affordable. So that would be my second pick uh, in the fresh line. And then the final pick uh, that you could choose from, well, you can choose from anything. I'm just telling you what I would start from is Aqua Pour Homme. And this is a love for me, love from first sniff, just because there's, there's something incredible with natural body odor this is shower fresh sexiness in a bottle this smells like your skin but better it is just so flipping good whoa slightly salty it's got a note of seaweed so it's very aquatic a bit different not many people wear it because most people buy the aqua amara which is good also but this to me is like the perfect fresh scent also quite inexpensive i got this for 30 pounds online online is always slightly better than uh, retail so do search for those fragrances online and i'll link them down below for you too you can find it on amazon this is aquatic freshness but spicy 
just wonderful and yeah you'll just smell very good and this will be perfect for spring and summer it will get you compliments even in the winter if you just want to smell very fresh and clean this will do the job and the third fragrance i would buy on a 200 pound budget is a clubbing going out fragrance and one of those fragrances for me would be uh, essence le mal from jean paul gaultier uh, and this is a wonderful fragrance that is so loved by everybody it's based on the original le mal that was released i think in the 90s and has just taken over everybody was wearing it then but this is a slightly different le mal so this is le mal original DNA with leather so the leather note makes it really appropriate for the winter time very masculine very like alpha male going out but still it's got that bit of sweetness and I think for going out that is just the perfect balance of sweetness and masculinity this is a great scent it's got some vanilla some lavender loads of leather the, the leather in this is so so good and really makes this fragrance stand out to me more than Le Mal. this is quite affordable also for a big bottle and it's projecting it's a really good starter fragrance for going out and yes it's not that it's popular but this the essence is not as popular as the original Le Mal, so you'll be a bit different and i think that's nice to be a bit different especially in a crowded place where many people can wear the same scent but talking about crowd pleaser another fragrance that you could choose would be Versace Eros and that fragrance is again a sweet masculine fragrance perfect for going out I think everybody has smelt it by now if you haven't just go to your local perfume store or department store they will have it for sure it's such a good clubbing scent it projects it is really an attention grabber it's affordable just easy peasy perfect for starting your fragrance collection from the get-go the last one i would say it's more of a date time fragrance is again something that is very crowd pleasing and i think it's great to get those staples uh, staple fragrances and those that everybody will like at the beginning because then you just got a basis of different scents and then you might say oh i really like this one what notes does this fragrance have and then you go and find your own later on uh, later down the line but it's good to know what people like and what you like so ysl la nuit de l'homme is one of those fragrances that i think every man should own because it's spectacular the scent is just magic pretty much like 99 percent 99.9 percent .9 of women love it i would even wear it because it's so good it's a cardamom lavender scent it's so cozy so addicting so hypnotic hypnotic <laughs> it's spicy with a cardamom it's got lavender which is so hypnotic hypnotic it's one of those fragrances that has been around for a while but it's not going anywhere so i calculated all the prices together and all of those bottles uh, when i went for the smaller sizes or like 70 ml would come out at around 200 pounds for three bottles of fragrance three bottles of fragrance that will do amazingly well to start you off uh, and really you know cover you for most occasions really tell me if you've got loads of fragrances in your collection what fragrances did you start off with because i think that will be really helpful for newbies here in this fragrance journey let me know what fragrances you would like me to review for you guys i post every monday and thursday and occasionally on a saturday so press that notification bell so you get notified of my latest video let's read comment of the day so today's comment is from greg graham he says good evening monica how are you thank you i'm well great video it really shows your passion if i choose just one it would have to be prada lom for several reasons have a great day thank you greg for sharing your one fragrance for life it's so hard to just pick 
in a hypothetical scenario what would be your fragrance for life but thank you for sharing remember if you love something just wear it and i'll see you all again very very soon bye guys